Alicia Manuel and her husband adopted Native American children in accordance with the Indian Child Welfare Act, which put them ahead of other prospective parents. Um, they were a white family, and they seemed like a very nice family. The father was a doctor, the mother was a stay-at-home mom, and they had the love in their heart to care for a child. But the tribe said, we want our our child, basically our child that's Native American, to go to a home that's Native American. Derek Bietzo is director of the Tribal Self-Governance Program at Arizona State University. The Indian Child Welfare Act was passed in 1978, and it came on the heels of uh, Congress recognizing through uh, multiple hearings and congressional testimony that there was an epidemic in Indian country. Uh, a lot of Native children were being targeted uh, by adoption agencies and otherwise um, being removed from Indian homes and placed in non-Indian families. The law gives adoption preference to members of the child's extended family, followed by members of the child's tribe, and then another Native American home. Everybody wants to know where they come from. Everybody wants to know who am I? Who are my grandparents? Who are my ancestors? Where was my creation story at? Supreme Court justices ruled 7-2 to two against a challenge by non-Native foster families and the state of Texas that argued the federal law discriminated based on race. Laura Pahoulis has spent over a decade advocating for foster children. Like the plaintiffs in the Supreme Court case, she has questions about the law's benefit for children. I know they would love to keep the children with their own culture, and, and I understand that. But if there's no one to care for that child within their environment, then I think it's, um, it, is, it's, it would be a travesty for the child to not allow someone else that is willing to adopt a child and raise them in stability and, um, and give them a life of, free of trauma that they deserve. The Supreme Court based its ruling on Native American sovereignty and did not respond to arguments that its adoption preferences are racially discriminatory, leaving in place protections that ensure that families like Manuel's will be able to use the Indian Child Welfare Act for future adoptions. You guys tired? Yeah. I'm tired too. I can't wait to take a long nap. Oh. Levi Stallings for VOA News, Phoenix, Arizona.